I've owned this apartment now for about 10 years. In fact, I helped build it. I have another one that's about 30 years old. And I'll tell you, I provide my tenants with a good living experience. I provide them security through contracts. I provide them a beautiful landscape. And I provide them press control. Is this on... your spot here? That's correct. It looks like a nice place. Indeed it is. And we get excellent ratings on all of the internet sites. I'm very proud to be the landlord there. So, Ms. Newman, you, you're having a good time being at this apartment up until this day. What happened? So I started noticing cockroaches here and there. And at first it was just one or two, and then they multiplied. I mean, they were everywhere. Like, it was disgusting. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I'm super loud, but my hearing is a little gone. This is a video you submitted to the court. You shot this on your phone? I did, yes, yes. And, and this is in your apartment? That's in my apartment. That's just in the frame of, that's just in like this little tiny area of my apartment too. Mr. Levy, I, I thought for a moment that Miss Newman was uh, mistaken. Maybe these are those palmetto bugs that people try to tell me aren't roaches. Those are roaches. Indeed they are. And we've never had any complaints from any other tenants about roaches in our property. Well, how did you get hurt? The morning that it happened, I had been swimming. I like to swim in the mornings. And I went to school, worked all day. I was exhausted. And I went home to get my necessities papers, and I was so tired I fell asleep on my couch. OK. And when I woke up, I felt something in my ear. And I'll be honest, at first, I thought it was just water trapped on my ear canal. It's not uncommon to have water trapped in your ear canal for 24 to 48 hours after you go swimming. Yes, ma'am. I've been swimming for a long time, so I knew that. And then 48 hours later, I realized this was not, <laughs> this was not just water. There was a cockroach in my ear canal, oh. and I could feel every leg. I could feel every antenna. I could feel everything. It was literally inside my head, making its home in my ear canal, burning its way inside my How head. How did you know that there was a cockroach in your ear? Because I could, I could feel its little legs. You can feel it. You can feel it stuck in your, and forgive me for, you can feel it stuck <laughs> in your earwax. It's really gross. And I had but to go. It took two I days had to go. I'm not done. To, I'm not finished. For her I to had get to there. go to the ER, and they put a video in my ear. You a submitted in my that ear. video to yes, the court. Yes, sir. I did. Yes, Your Honor. Let's take a look at it. Uh, they're looking in your ear. All right. Okay. Okay. Let me get this clear. So you had a cockroach in your ear? In my ear, and it would have gone further if I hadn't taken action when I, when I knew that it was a bug in my ear. So that's what was crawling around? You felt the legs and things? I couldn't. You could see the little hairs on the legs, too, and I could feel them sticking sticking to the wax in my ear. <laughs> it was Cockroaches disgusting. do something to me. OK. It was so. like a horror movie. <sighs> So uh, they, they pulled it out of your ear? They, they did, Your Honor, and it was very, very delicate surgery. And they told me that now I have a perforated eardrum, which is a hole in my ear, because this man didn't do anything about it. Now, Mr. Levy, did you exterminate this place on a regular basis? Yes, we did, Your Honor. In fact, as required in the lease, we, we uh, exterminated every six months by having an outside contractor come in and do it professionally. And I have copies of the reports for well, you. All right, Sheriff Matt, will you retrieve those reports from Mr. Levy? And also the invoices. Well, I'm looking at your invoice number 36571. It's billed to you, and it's dated February 22nd. That's it correct. It says treatment, target pest, full service, and then it says Mark Levy. Is that your signature there? Uh, yes, it is. So you had a professional exterminator in August. Absolutely. Can I just say something? Yes. It had been, it had actually been eight months since an exterminator had been to the building. And in my contract, every six months, one is supposed to come out. So he had ample time to find another one. Well, Honestly, I think he was being, so he was late. being a cheapskate. Yes, sir. He Indeed, was he was Your Honor, late. we were informed by our contractor that he was going to cancel the contract. It took me a while to find somebody else. But as soon as I got notice that there was a roach infestation. You were on it. I was on it, and I took care of it myself.